what's poppin you guys it is mira it is shira it is vera it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again leo what it be yo i'm so sorry i had to it's my second time trying to make this video because i was disrupted i don't know if a whole bunch of disrupted ass people is there getting on your nerves but honey listen let me tell you i'm about to get it together because you ain't gonna be interrupting me while i'm trying to talk to my leos okay what it is so listen it is me, Red is she, Red is Vera. Thank you so much for um, liking, sharing, and subscribing, and clicking this video. Shout out to all my OB, my OGs, to all my newbies, to everybody that's come through and showed me love. We're going to get some general energy guidance for um, September. We're going to make it a month to remember, but before we get into any guidance, we're going to give Father God his praise and acknowledgement before we step into getting and receiving any messages from him. Hello. Hello. Okay. So, Father God, thank you so much for waking us up today. Thank you so much for healing and revealing the things that we need to see and believe so that we can move forward. And, Father God, put our best foot out there and shimmy and shake it all around, Father God. Listen, everybody like the way we move. Hold on. I like the way you move. Dun, dun, dun. I like the way you move. Okay, I don't know. I feel like, Father God, you've been a little pleased with our movements. Okay? And I just want to tell you, you know... We're doing everything in our power, our inner strength, Father God, to just be who you want us to be, like the army, okay? All right, amen. So, Father God, thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons that you put forward, Father God, because we're, we're acing every single test because we, we will not be disturbed and we will not dishonor you, Father God. So, thank you so much and give us the guidance that we need to receive for September. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. Leo, would it be y'all? Listen, you know Leo always going to come through strong. You already know it. You already know. Shout out to Big Frida. All right, let's get it. Okay. You got communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendship. Lucky wins seems likely. Come on now. Y'all know it's that uh, retrograde energy coming on. Okay. Oh, I just heard. Instead of the song Secret Lover, I just heard Distant Lovers. Yeah, that's what we are. Try so hard to own back the way we feel. Ooh, hold on. Distant Lovers. Distant Lovers. Yeah, that's what we are. Okay, so why well, I feel like this is an old high school friend or something that you be talking to on Facebook or something? Because why well, I feel like y'all old, you know, older people be on Facebook. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, well, I feel like someone might be coming into town. Someone might be coming to town. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> why I heard. Why I heard somebody is having like. A freak Nick party or something like that. Like they're having like an old school freak Nick party, like a pool party or something like that. And it's like a whole group of people that you know, it's like from your city area or something like that. And it's like this person is like coming into town because they want to come to that pool party. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> Y'all gotta be from DC. Y'all from the DMV area because we known for pool parties. <laughs> Hold on, what we got going on? You got abundance. Hello. Hello. All right. Communication and abundance. All right, so you guys probably making some really lucrative partnerships when it comes to business. And in regards to love, I'm definitely getting a, a distant love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I tried to apologize because y'all over there shaking your head and judging me. Don't judge me. At least I tried. Shit. At least I tried. Okay. What do we got? What's coming on? What's coming on? Oh. oh. Ain't nobody tell you to be asking for two cards. Okay. You like I'm, get three cards. Okay. Hold on. You getting real disrespectful. You getting real disrespectful. What does it say? Before completion. But this came in the reverse. It says uncertainty, doubt, hesitation, loss of faith, unstable condition, being extra cautious, discord. Baby, that's in the reverse. 
that is in the reverse. Like, so, to, I ain't got to watch my step. I know where I'm going. Stop playing with me. It says splitting apart. It says collapse, deterioration, separation, letting go, surrender, eliminating the old, death, impermanence. Splitting apart. Before, so... I just heard it wasn't any thoughts before breakup. It's just like, eh, one to the next. And then you got family in the reverse. I just heard it was like a collapse of communication because of a family situation. I want to say someone might have moved away. There was, okay, so, all right. This distant lover thing. I heard they didn't get a chance to think before they let go. It might have been like a situation where it was like a family decision. Okay, confirmation. It was a family decision where somebody moved to another state or something that they could not. They had no say so. So this could have happened when they were kids or something like that. And that's how they lost communication. And it's like before they could. You see before the completion. It's like the splitting apart, like the family made a, a a choice to make this move, which split someone apart before they could even say goodbye. Do you feel what I'm saying? So it could be like a long time coming. Like you might not have seen this person for a very, very long time. And I feel like someone may be rekindling a romance. And then it's like even better this time because y'all are grown, grown. Like y'all not chi y'all not children. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not children no more. Like and, and then I feel like um what makes the situation so abundant is because y'all having such a happy time because you're around I wanna say like good people that I feel like this person maybe has not seen in a long time. A reunion could bring a love or rekindling of friendships and lucky wins. May be likely. I just heard. I just heard. I, I I couldn't even fathom this connection. Like I haven't seen this person in a long time. Like a very very long time. A very long time. All right. Let's find out what's going on. Let's find out what's going on with my Leos. Or. September. Let me just get one card because they already doing the most. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Sir Mitch. What is this? You got morality. It's in a reverse. Uh, like, am I really thinking about reversals right now? I feel like there could be a chance that There's something that may be morally wrong or something might have been morally wrong where it's like some information may be left out of the equation for a good part of the communication for a purpose. I feel like someone may be trying to hide their family or something. And they're trying to take a step before they completed something. So take it how it resonates and if it doesn't resonate don't take anything at all from this if none of this resonates just know that there's communication and abundance coming in for my Leos now this because this sounds like a very direct situation it's someone that lost communication with a friend or someone that they used to date a long time time ago because I feel like someone else made the moral decision to pack up and move which affected everybody which made it hard for them to communicate that they were leaving and I want to say someone feels like you lied to me or you you didn't tell me or there may be like some repercussions with you guys dealing with a situation that's involving having to let go without summing things up where the other person can understand it. And so you're gonna you're gonna be confronted with that. 
Because it's like, I feel like someone feels like some level of guilt. Or someone feel yeah, because it's like someone could have been hurt because it's like just walked away in in without saying goodbye, without there being any understanding. I don't know if it's because someone had to hide their family, or like I said, they were kids and their family made a decision for them that they couldn't explain because they didn't even understand what was going on. So it was like, how could I have been morally responsible and I was a child? You know what I'm saying? Like I I didn't even understand why the fuck we were moving. So, like, how can I tell you what was going on when I was upset and it was hard for me to process? So, you know. Hmm. hmm. Y'all let me know what's going on down in the comments because this is, this is very direct. And if you do rekindle with somebody... Make sure that you don't take things too seriously too fast because this person could possibly be splitting apart from a family that they're not telling you about for a reason and it's morally wrong. It's like they're hiding something. They're hiding something. They're hiding something. Anyway, I gotta go. Y'all hit the like button. Y'all let me know what's going down in the comments. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.